All right, everyone, let's take a look at a couple of frames from American Optical today. Now, we've talked about all of their current release sunglasses, but I've had a few people ask, surprisingly, so we're going to do a quick comparison between two of their models. That is going to be the AO Saratoga and the AO Tournament. Now, I actually think this is a good comparison, so let's take a look and see at some of the differences and some of the nuance between these two frames. Oh, but you know you don't get off that easy. So if you would do me a favor and like down below and subscribe and ring the bell so you get the notifications and stay up on all the latest and coolest videos as we go through and talk about frame fitting and lens technology and do a few of these sunglasses reviews along the way, do that for me. Definitely helps support the channel, helps keep me here, and <laughs> that's kind of the goal, isn't it? So I can keep having fun. Anyway, so let's get into what you're actually here for and compare directly the Saratoga and the Tournament. So to start with, I don't want to make this comparison about color so much as overall frame design and architecture. Overall engineering and construction between the two is the same. You've got the same hardware for the shields and the same temples and tips and cores and all of that. So overall construction is going to be identical between these two. They fall at the same price point. Both are gonna be 189 with non-polarized lenses. As of yet, we do not have a polarized option in the tournament but in the Saratoga, those are going to run $239, about $50 more for polarized. Nothing too crazy there. Pretty well what you would see industry-wide. Now, the main difference in these frames, both unisex, but I would say this one leans a little bit more masculine and this one a little bit more now, with that said, both of these are still completely unisex frames. It is just that one leans a little one direction, one leans a little bit the other. You still see these on a lot of different faces, so don't let that sway you too much. The biggest difference is what we've got that creates that, and that is the softer shape with a little bit less brow dip on the Saratoga still nice and easy not really down or uplifting over here which is why they still remain soft and unisex but we are softer a little bit more oval through here definitely more oval through here and over here on the tournament you've got the harsher lines at the bridge makes that more square shape a little bit better the way this actually works on a face is what makes these two nice and different, even though they are pretty close together in overall design and architecture and everything else. But of course, with a brand, you want some design aspects to carry over from one frame to the next. You want to look at it and you want to say, hey, I know that brand, right? Or at least that's what they want you to do. So now let's get on to, as I mentioned, on the face. So ignoring the fact that I look absolutely awful today, we have the Saratoga to start with, and we'll pull this guy down just a little bit, not too much in case somebody walks in. But you can see what I was mentioning here. You've got just a little bit more inward cut at the bottom of these, still really nice and soft from the bridge all the way to the outside, almost an oval, kind of a teardrop-esque type shape going on. And this is still okay, as I mentioned just easy to wear still a good look and it's going to fit on a lot of different faces and still look nice which is kind of the key something you want to happen with sunglasses especially newer brands or newer revisions of brands where you want to be able to easily get them on a lot of different faces pretty quickly right now on to the tournament and that is going to be in this beautiful blue demi that we were showing just a moment ago and that's one thing i like on this one they do come with those more vintage fashion tents really cool looking frame i could see this done actually more as an ophthalmic than a sunglass and we've actually got a few of the aos we have done that way so one guy's opinion right but what I like on this one, particularly on me, again, you've got those more rectangular shapes where I've got a little bit softer features, especially in this COVID world where I have gained a ridiculous amount of weight. We're not gonna get into that. <laughs> yeah, so the square angles help there. As you can see, just a little bit 
more harsh angles. And just looks nice on the face and easy to wear in that regard. And of course, I mentioned I didn't want to get in colors too much, so I stuck with two that are pretty easy to wear with my usually blue attire. So the blue is a little bit more fun, but the crystal brown still does just fine. Now, as far as those two frames, that is about all I've got on the comparison. Really what it comes down to is whether you want something a little bit more edgy and a little bit more rectangular-ish like this guy or something a little bit softer. Both still very classic frames and again, very easy to wear. I will say the more rectangular one is going to work better on a little bit softer features in the face but it still has enough soft features on its own to still work on a more angular face. It gets fun when you get into all this stuff, right? Definitely both a really good value as far as eyewear goes or sunglasses in particular, because you are getting a very nicely made frame with some pretty good lenses at the very least. Very good lenses at the best, but we don't have glass in these yet, so maybe one day. Anyways, that's all I have got on the Saratoga versus the Times. Keep an eye out here as we go forward. Definitely make some recommendations and leave some feedback. Let me know what you thought about this comparison. Anything you would like to see changed or improved, let me know. I love y'all's feedback. It helps me so much in creating this channel. So thank you all, and I will catch you next time.